PC, accounting for your future. Hi, this is Steve from APC. So, welcome to Accounting Standards Makes It Easy video. So, in this particular video, we're going to start it to talk about the ice number one, which is the presentation of financial statements. So the presentation of the FS. So the first thing we're going to talk about is what type of FS there are in the um, in the marketplace. So firstly, we have got the statement of financial position. So that's statement of financial position. So summarising the uh, asset liability as well as the equity within the company. So it is as at one particular year of end is the snapshot. Secondly, we have got the statement of POV loss and other comprehensive income. So in simple words, we're going to talk, uh, we're going to use the PNL for short. So statement of POV loss and we can call it as the OCI, other comprehensive income, showing how much profit that you've made during the year. And thirdly, we have got the statement of cash flow as well. So showing the cash movements uh, within a company. Um, so for example, for the opening balance, uh, or we can call it the last year, we have got $100, but now we have got $300. So the increase up of $200, maybe because of the fact that the company has sold the inventory to the customer. So it's, it's, it's going to make the cash of $200. So it will be detailed into the statement of cash flow. Of course, fourthly, we have got the statement of change in equity as well. So showing the movement of the equity section. So for example, the uh, company has issued some shares during the year. Of course, that share capital movement will be detailed into SOXI, or we can call it as the statement of change in equity. Of course, those financial statements are required by the IS number one, but the IS number one is just to be the principle based approach. This means that if you're not going to follow, uh, I mean, uh, the IS number one requirement, that's absolutely fine. Um, I mean, if you can explain why this is the case and the shareholder can buy your opinion, of course, you are not going to follow those requirements and that will be absolutely fine. So the eyes number one when preparing those financial statements uh, within the company is going to follow these two assumptions. I mean, this will be detailed in the conceptual framework. And we're going to call it as the G and A. So first G would be referring to as the going concern basis. So this means that we're going to prepare the financial statements, for example, the statement of financial position, including the non-current assets as well as the non-current liability. Because we're going to deem that the company is the going concern entity, which means that the company can last for more than one accounting period. So that's what I mean by going concern basis. And if the company is going to go bust, that's absolutely fine. You're not going to use the going concern basis anymore, but you're going to use the breakup basis, which means we're going to reclassify all those non-current assets as well as the liability into the current one. The second of our assumption within the uh, ice number one when preparing the financial statement is what I mean by a Krubos concept. So what do I mean by Krubos concept? This is contradictory to the cash basis. For example, if you sold the goods to a customer uh, for $100, for example, but you haven't received that cash from a customer, what you need to do is you're going to recognize this transaction into the SFP by trying to debiting the receivable rather than debiting the cash uh, received. So of course, a Krubos concept is referring to as the right as well as the obligation. At the time that you sign the contract with the customer, even if the customer is not going to pay for you right now, you can still recognize this transaction onto your financial statement to prove that you've got this right to obtain those cash from a customer at some point in the future. So that's what I mean by a Krubus concept. That's contradictory to a cash basis because for a cash basis will be uh, in the statement of cash flow. So 
if you receive that cash from the uh, customer, you can recognize that cash into your bank account. But into your financial statement, into your statement of financial position, for example, even though you receive no cash right now, but if you've got that right to receive that cash from the customer at some point in the future, you can recognize that transaction right now. I mean, those are the uh, things that uh, included into the ICE number one presentation of financial statements. Hope you enjoyed this lecture and uh, that's the end of this video and uh, looking forward to seeing you into the next of our Canvas standard. APC, accounting for your future.